Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be tackling this uh, understairs cupboard. Now I did do an original DIY like makeover of it quite some time ago and since then it has like gathered so many things and I thought I would try and minimise the stuff I have in it, make it all into like zones of different um, different categories. Basically, I've watched Get Organised with the Home Edit and I'm like, my god, I need this cupboard to be in a similar state to when they're finished with it. So I've even bought myself a label maker and I'm going to go today or tomorrow to buy some plastic, clear plastic storage so that I can put everything in its own collection of items. So I'm going to start by taking everything out of the cupboard, um, editing down what I don't want anymore or what I can donate to people I know or the charity shop and I'm going to collect it all on my dining room table and the floor probably and then yeah, make it into, uh, categorise everything so that I know how much I have of each category. So let's get started and see how much junk I have in this cupboard. So this is my before shot. As you can see it's pretty rammed with things. I've had to put this trolley in here because it was um, before in the main bedroom which I hadn't decorated yet and now I don't need it. And then. So this side I have one metal shell. It has a lot of boxes, packaging on top. And then down here, which you can't really see, I have this small chest of drawers. I obviously have the trolley. I have another of the metal shelves here. Obviously I do have quite a lot of wall height but I don't have the capacity to screw in like shelves. Um, and then at the back, I have a small metal shelf, which actually has got an empty gap there, which is quite good. And then down here I have, uh, there is a sewing machine down there somewhere. Lots of paint, lots of like crystal, big, Black box is my Christmas tree, and I've got lots of DIY. There's my toolbox there, lots of DIY items, craft items, and Christmas things. So on this side wall, I'm going to put some little cup hooks along this piece of wood, so I can um, so I can hang things off it, and hopefully it'll make this wall a bit more useful. So it's a few days later and I thought I'd show you what I'd got from B&M. So I got quite a few acrylic boxes 
These ones are stackable uh, like that. And I got eight of these, so I'm gonna have two stacks of four. In these ones, I've put acrylic paint, stationery, ribbons, string, and then like a miscellaneous craft section. I'm gonna label all these with my label maker that I haven't even opened yet, so I might just go do that. This should be the label maker. And then I also got three, I think it was three black ribbons, just extra. This does come with some. Oh, that didn't go very well. So this is the one that I got, and I got the black ribbon with the white writing embossed on it. That's the one I like most, like style-wise. Hopefully these little reels will fit this machine. I did check, it was on the list that it would fit this one. Um, I can't even see what, it's a, Whatever it is. So yeah. God, if I open this now, I haven't got any scissors. From B&M, I also got these types of acrylics. These are a full box. And obviously this one I've put my small paints in, like wall, um, wall paint. And this one is my like DIY category. This one has this hole here, so it's kind of easy reach when it's on a higher shelf, you don't have to like pull it all down to get into the box. I got two of each of these. I also got these acrylics. This one is, was in the bedroom area, I think. Yeah, like cosmetics, but I can use them for anything. They also stack a little bit as well if I wanted to them not to be like flat in a drawer. And then this was in the bathroom section. This has like two higher bits at the top and then three tiny ones, I guess for like lipstick or small things like tweezers. One bigger, big compartment and then two little ones. I may not end up using all of them. As you can see, I haven't even used these yet and I've done most of the tidying up. I probably will use these elsewhere if I don't use them in the cupboard because they're so useful. So I'm not gonna take them back or anything. I probably will find uses for these. So now I've worked out how to do the labeling. I'm really happy. It looks so cool. I'm gonna make a list of everything that's in the cupboard. Basically a list of what labels I need to make. And then I might be ready for a final reveal. So before I show you the final cupboard, I thought I would acknowledge that I did edit out quite a lot of stuff. So at the back is the things I'm gonna to donate to charity. I have a huge amount of recycling, which is in these two, and then quite a lot of rubbish that's in this bag here. So all in all, I did get rid of quite a lot that was in there. I've also rehoused a few other things which are more appropriate to live like upstairs, in the bathroom, bedroom, etc. So we'll start on this side of the cupboard. I have everything to do with wrapping. So I've got gift wrap, tissue paper and cards in this one more like packaging, so like bubble wrap, piece of cardboard in this bag. Then down here I have sewing materials, fabric in this bin here. Then down here in the drawers, I have two drawers of crafts and one with, it's just DIY, so I've put dust sheets and an extension bead in there. Here on the side I've put my electric sander 
Uh, it's the best place for it. I can't really fit it on a shelf because it's a bit wide. And then below that, I have everything that I have to do with fabric dyeing. So moving on behind me. On the top shelf, I have crafting, paints, paintbrushes, pens, and then I just have one little bin for tech. And then this is then it transitions from crafts to DIY from here downwards. So this is all DIY, paint, and these are my handle doorknobs. So I still have uh, two left to fit. And then underneath that is my toolbox. I've kept it open with everything that's like I go to grab all the time, like tape measures, screwdrivers. I've left that all on the top so that I don't even have to open it when I come in. It's more efficient that way. Everything that I don't use that often is underneath and only like bigger heavy things like hammers and things. And then below that I've just got my sewing machine. That is a couple of hoover bags in there um, because I'm going to sit my hoover on the floor here so I can get it out easily. Then on my next shelf, I carry on with DIY all across the top. These are smaller things. In this bin is things that I grab for quite often, like filler, masking tape. Then it transitions this, just this shelf is Christmas because I have my Christmas tree over here. Fairy lights. This is obviously Christmas decorations and this is also decorations and some lights and miscellaneous things. And then down below here, we carry on with DIY. So obviously paint brushes, paint rollers, trays, and then all paint and I've got some varnish there as well. And then on the back shelf, I have the jigsaw, which is in that bag. Then I have wallpaper, hoover bits in the red bag, and then my overlocker and paperwork in the black folder at the bottom. So this is an, like an extension of DIY, but then it's also larger items that I wouldn't really go and reach for very often. And that concludes my organization of the understairs cupboard. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you to reorganize one of your spaces, as did the home edit inspire me to do this. Thanks all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.